Alrighty, YouTubes, let's jump into a draft. Premium draft, I'm going to start with a best of one, because I feel like it's just a great way to get a good vibe of what's happening in the set. And we open a Planeswalker, Tezzeret Betrayer of Flesh. Betrayer of Flesh, because he's becoming a robot. First activated ability of an artifact you activate each turn, which includes channel and stuff, right? If it isn't a vehicle, it has base power and toughness 4-4, so I can turn our treasures into 4-4s. An emblem, whatever stuff, blah, 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 draw a card. Seems good. Let's reserve it just in case. I start rambling and miss it. Unforgiving one. I kind of like, you know, it's the modified isn't the best in black, but it's not bad. We get the red shrine. Ooh, interesting. Moth Rider Patrol, Watering Intervention, Mirror Shell Crab's not bad. Some good stuff that could wheel to us. This Okiba Reckoner Raid, this thing's awesome. I want to get 12 of those. Cruel, See, glad I reserved that. I, <laughs> ooh, there's one. Maybe, maybe we take this one. Like, I'm not worried about grabbing mnemonic spheres early. Hi, love. Hi, love. <laughs> uh, seismic waves, not bad. Orochi Merge Keeper. I really like green, though. To be honest, I think green is the best color in the set. Automated Artificer 2 would not be a bad snag, but I think if I can get five of these black one drop, I'm going to take them. Oh my gosh, another Goshen tie. But they're legendary, so you couldn't actually play multiple. Maybe we get Patchwork. Maybe we do some blue-black ninjutsu slash just artifact shenanigans. Try and grab more of these like Papercraft decoys or stuff like that. Or do we grab something like Lethal Exploit? Because we do need removal and interaction. But I just think two drops are really important in the set. And if I'm going to try and make Tezzeret work, we're going to be winding up with some artifacts for sure. Yeah, this card is awesome. Just not unlimited. Born to Drive's okay. The Long Reach of Night I like. Gets you a head on two cards and gets you a creature that's annoying to block. I just don't know if it's like awesome. It hasn't super impressed me. What is it? It's another four drop. Moon Snare Specialist. Now that's a card that has really impressed me. This with the Kiki Jiki enchantment, where you create a token of this every turn, that just wins you the game. Planner Incision's not bad. I think I'll take the long... I just... Mm. Psychic Creature, or they discard a card. It doesn't do much against decks I can create tokens and stuff though that's one problem and if we're ninjutsu actually I think moonlight snare specialist is a lot higher top end for us as well seen a lot of good white Ooh, whenever you discard a card I think containment construct works for us quite well a lot of potential there just to get ahead on cards although automated artificer could be good hopefully we can wheel some of those but if we just get enough two drops I think we're going to be in business arm guard familiar I like quite a bit Discover the impossible. Look at the top five. You may cast the exiled card without paying its mana cost. If it's in spell two or less. If you don't, you get to put it in your hand. So basically it's like draw a card, or if you just need to find counter spell, removal spell, something like that, you can just play it right then. But I'm always a fan of taking a lot of two drops and then working my way through what I'm what I'm needing. Oh, do we have the covert tactician, which lets us play artifacts for free? Or do we want the one that helps us sift through our deck? I think I want the Covert Tactician with the build we're going for. These Okiba Reckoner Raids. I guess this is not by any means pulling us into black. But if that first one could wheel to us, I would be very happy, Camper. Modern Age is fine. Bronze Plate Boar is actually pretty good. And Red does have a lot of artifacts as well. But I think I'm I'm more leaning towards ninjutsu. More so than the artifacts. The artifacts will just be a nice, nice just additional value with what we're doing. Alright. It did not wield to us, but this guy did. Ooh, Iron Apprentice did too. I think I like that. But Moonsnare Specialist, they can just keep like this thing when it ETBs gets to do its thing, so it doesn't just have to be unblocked. Uh let's grab our first sphere. We need to get one sphere, for sure. But the fact that this thing just ETBs, bounces something, and then, say you get to attack with it, you can ninjutsu this thing back to your hand. Play it down, bounce your opponent's creature. That's just super annoying to deal with. 
I do want to get some flyers, though. We got one. We need more flyers. Yeah, we're just in this, like, weird... We're in this weird space right now where we got ninjutsu and we got artifacts. Uh, I don't know if I'm worried about shrines, but... This guy... Jax! What, Bubby? Bubby, what's wrong? What's wrong? You gonna be okay? I love you too, Bubby. Modified creatures you control can attack as though they didn't have defender. Let's get a little interaction going. We've gotten a lot of creatures, thankfully. Got our early on plays sorted. Now it's like, give us the top end. Help us find what we want to do. Scrapyard Steelbreaker. I mean, we can get off black too. Black is by no means... 100% guaranteed to be played. And blue red is more of the artifact. Ooh, but Leech Gauntlet, I love. I just love this card. 2 2 lifelink that you can give other creatures lifelink too. Just good. What's this one do? Whenever an aura ETBs under your control, if you cast it, you may search library for an aura card with mana value less than. I think I'm going to shift gears to it because we're doing artifacts, not auras. We'll just keep. Playing them synergist. Ooh, there's another one. I think we just keep taking this. I really want the one that's unblockable. The futuristic futuristic operative. I can't talk. <laughs> but Okiba Reckoner Raid is, is just too good. Man, there's so many. What's with all these such good green cards? So many good green cards. Moonsnare Prototype. Is this good? Tap it and tap another untapped artifact or creature you control. Add colorless. Then the channel is bounce something to the top or bottom, which is their choice. Right? Like, am I crazy? I think I'd rather have this, but none of this is like... Are we looking to splash any of this? Maybe that's the better question. Or do you want this? Return target creature card. Ninja or rogue? Yeah. Let's take this. It's not a great top end. But it could work. We have here. Ooh, removal. I think we could use utilize that removal. High speed hover bike could be something. We got the 3-2 lifelike ninjutsu. More removal. We don't have much removal right now, do we? I think I need to prioritize some removal. Do I want the 4 or the 2? This just straight up destroy creature or enchantment. This is instant speed interaction. We're also trying to get through in the air, which is often less worrisome about big stuff. But I'm going to take the Twisted Embrace just because if we do run into something that's big and scary, we have no way of getting around it. Uh, we're taking every one of these that we can. It's like just our super aggro move. And honestly, if we if we ninjutsu one of these back into our hand, then you play it. Just that life drain is no joke. Clawing Torment, I actually like. I like, but do I like it more than our 2-1 draw card? Kind of want more ninjutsu options, so let's do that. Let's do it. How's our, how's our deck look? Super aggro. Super aggro ninja shenanigans are afoot. Turn to action. Yeah. We need more creatures. Can't get too crazy on... Well, we got to count Tezzeret as a creature, right? They exile something. Kind of removal. Counter spell. That's annoying. I think... Debt to the Kami. Yeah, let's do that. I think we're looking for sideboard there anyway. We got another pack to go through. I think we can upgrade some things. Tezzeret maybe. Not all it's cracked up to be. I think we still play it. I don't think there's any way I don't play it. But maybe I cut some of the artifacts that I'm only playing because of him. Containment Construct. Am I doing much discarding? Outside of his outside of Tezzeret's ability I don't think so so I think we cut containment construct and try and replace it with a better creature mm. oh Kami of Restless Shadows my apologies it's just not it's not feeling like I what what I want the pinnacle of my top end to be although if it gets a ninja rogue from your graveyard to your hand that can be awesome I'm hoping we got to be able to open a rare ninjutsu guy that would be the bomb diggity. Maybe get two more of these things. We can get two more of these and we're doing it. Oh, we've got to remember, I'm counting these as creatures too. So that's three. Yeah, we're at like 14 and five in that case. So I'm good on creatures. Need a little bit more, a little bit more interaction. 
couple more solid playables will be good. Tap and untap artifact you control. It's just not helping. We get a shrine that we really want to play. Maybe shrine stewards it. Hey, yeah, you're good. Let's do it. Uh, season of renewal. Sure. Commune with spirits and wait for it. Jaximus. Meow. All right, not what we wanted. Farewell to us opening our top tier ninjutsu guy. Maybe gets past us though. 3 2 that we're going to often be giving. Artifact gives it death touch. I like that. And if we end up with some enchantments, then we give it menace as well. Clawing torment can just kind of poke down our opponent. They can't block either. Let's, I kind of want to try this card. Is that crazy? Over. Let me see. Do we need three drops? We kind of need three drops. All right, I lied. But if it's just like a 3-2 Death Toucher, is that... Is that it? Nope, I, I grabbed the Clawing Torment. I don't know if that was the right choice. Not 100% convinced <laughs> on my decision there. Prosperous Thief, what are you? Whenever one or more Ninja Rogues control to come in, create a treasure token. I'm here for it. Three drop, Ninjutsu, do the thing. Ooh, another... Wow, two of the same. I think I'll take a Tamiyo's Completion. That's just good shutdown interaction. We have a lot of four drops, though. That's a little concerning. Behold the Unspeakable is such a good card. Puzzle Maker is also pretty solid. I, I think I have to take that, though. Because Behold the Unspeakable... It is a very valuable creature in the late game. It is one that gives you a turn to kind of find some reprieve by knocking down all your opponent's creatures power for by two for until your next turn at minimum scry two draw two and then turn into a good creature i don't think i'm playing another one of these i think i'm just taking the we're just rare drafting just rare draft and hope to eventually finish this set off and start getting all kinds of valuable gems although i've uploaded what one sealed video so far this will be my first draft video i have not I had great luck in just like my casual playing I've been doing either. Hey, we get a rare one. Each creature in your card, card in your hand has ninjutsu for four. Yeah, you're perfect. Another three drop that we definitely definitely need. Actually, I think we cut this. The reconfigure is not awesome with what we're trying to do, which is have creatures in play and make them a problem. I think we can also cut arm guard familiar. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Dude, how are there so many prosperous thieves in this pack going around? That's ridiculous. Crazy. Madness. Uh gets us treasures, which Tezzeret definitely likes and will use to our benefit. Uh, I'm not gonna play that, so we'll take the uncommon. This combat trick I like quite a bit. Patchwork automation. Actually, we could probably cut this if we can find a better 2-drop. Suit-up isn't bad. I think we're going to play something that has to be a creature. 5-5 five, five could be it. Another 3-drop could also be it. Although, that's... Hmm. Because this is supposed to help us play artifacts for free, which is... We don't have many options of right now. Cast or activate automated abilities... Did we get any of those? Yeah, we have one. Take the Searchlight Companion. The Bargainer. Cast an artifact or creature spell. We could use that. Especially if we just got like extra treasures or something. Hmm. If it was best of three, I'd be more excited about that saga. I just don't think it's all that great in best of one. Or I should just say as consistently reliable in a best of one. Alright, we gotta make one cut. Is it Kami of... Like, it's just a 3-3 three, three for 5. It just feels slow and clunky to me. I like our low curve. Our 4 drops are a little heavy. We're a little heavy on the 4 drops. But I don't think we have... If I could have gotten another raid or two, I would have been ecstatic. Kind of bummed we only got 3. And you got none in that 3rd pack. But I think this is our deck. And depending on how it plays, if we feel like we have too many 4... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... That's too many. This is too many. 
This being a 5.5 five is nice. I think I just got to cut it, though. I think it's just too expensive. Try target creature that's dealt damage this turn. Another 3 drop. All right, I think we play that 2 drop. Oh, wait. What else did I add? Oh, boy. I clicked too fast. One of those. All right, I think this is our deck. If we wind up in a game where I've just not been able to find any way to get through, maybe I bring the 5.5 five back in. But so far, I think our deck seems all right. Let's hope we can get some good luck. Play first. That would be really nice for this deck. All right, this is like pretty solid starting hand. Unfortunately, we do not go first. Play this. Don't you dare spell pierce it. Okay. Ooh, we got Tezzeret. Now we just got to find our land. Give us our fourth land and we're in business. The modern age. Not a bad turn to play. I think green, ooh, green I think is the best color in the set. Blue green, I think blue is like right behind it. So they are, oh my gosh, we got our second one. That, look at that, it's already like 1723. And the next turn we get to play at 2-4, gives all of our creatures ninjutsu. Wish Tezzeret could get ninjutsu. <laughs> but we do need to hit our land drops. Ooh, I think we, I think we definitely ninjutsu out this against them nice Get a land drop perfect oh wait that can't attack yet all right we'll play this and then next turn Ooh, or do we just play tezzeret that's the question that is the question when this attacks i'm willing to block with satoru But we would need another black manias to be able to play this back out because it's ninjutsu cost is one in a swamp. Hmm. Would this would Tezzeret make the ninjutsu value of this only be one only be black? That's what we'll find out. Hey, we found it. Okay. I think we go here. I think if we attack, they do block because they have such minimal risk. And I think we can draw a couple cards and we can discard. Discard these. And we'll say no attacks. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now them being blue-green makes me a little nervous. Because what is this guy? This guy's going to fly over, poke Tezzeret in the face. But next turn... Tezzeret's gaining us a lot of life in this way, though. But I think we can... Actually, I think we can draw two. We can even, like, discard one of these. I don't know if I love that. We gotta play a creature here. Just one. Interesting. Interesting. Let's draw two. I, need results. I think we working. discard this, because it's just not as good into this board. Maybe we can play a land. Attack with these. Now, we could be walking into a blowout here, but I love the idea of using this to return the one that gets blocked. Uh, let's do this. And then, if they do have interaction, great. We still ninjutsu this in and get this one back into our hand. Sure. Uh -huh. So it, see, it is, it is reduced by Tezzeret. 
And we get to draw a card. Ooh. Ooh. Do we want to just destroy target creature or bounce a creature? I think I'd rather... Because we don't know what interaction and shenanigans they have as well. I think the ninjutsu is the better option. And we got to gain some life. So if they hit us back on a crack back here, we're not all that worried about it. And the next turn, we're right back to draining them quite a bit. Sure. It's unfortunate. Tezzeret goes away, but that means Tezzeret just gained us six life as well. Savor your and they're down to one card in hand. Sure. Oh my gosh, we drew the third one. Okay. Uh, let's just do this. Let's keep applying the pressure. Uh, what does this do? Plus two plus one. Yeah, it's, I'm not worried about the flyer. Not not worried about it. <coughs> Escoozy. No attacks. We're just here to drain our opponent down. It's a weird, grindy way to do it. But that's what we're that's what we signed up for. Next turn we're gonna play two more of these. That is not nice. <laughs> Yeah, we go two more of these, and then we claw in Torment, and I, like, I seriously think we just ping them down to death. Sure. You got it. Control modified permanent, we take two. Okay. Full send. Full send, me amigos. Yep. All right, play the other ones. We're letting the, the rat out of the bag. Not the cat, the rat out of the bag that this card is good. So next turn we hit for two. I have a 2-2 two -two with Menace. Following turn we have a Flyer. That we can also pump. We can only pump it once though, sadly. But I think our menace shenanigans will be enough. Please attack. Love it. No blocks. We'll take 10. Or you can ninjutsu and only hit us for 3 and create a treasure. You can also, I think you can full stop. And they could have ninjutsu it in still. If they needed to, wanted to, whatever. Alright, there's our... There's our schwamp. This is... Can't artifact or creature. Oh, the ninjutsu will kind of mess with that. That's unfortunate. We go here. Let's just put this on here. Because they're not going to want to ninjutsu this thing back in. That's not going to help. And then next, no attacks, because our stuff would just get eaten or bounced. Lose one life, down to six. And depending on what they do, we can just like chump block, sacrifice it, gain two life, or draw two, gain some life. I like how the deck's playing so far. It's a little slow. I guess the power's not quite there, but I feel like we're up against one of the better color pairings in this set. So it's not, I'm not overly worried about it, you know? Pass to blockers. Do I want to pass the flyer? I don't think I do. I think I'd rather block here. They want a ninjutsu out, a flyer, that's fine. Mm 
Wow, they don't get rid of the one that can... Oh, but they're doing something that draws them across, sure. But I'm just surprised they don't get rid of the one that is costing them hit points. Yeah, no? Still hit for... Sure. Got to make a copy of it. And... We did it. Don't know what we did right there that was any different than what they knew was coming, but we did it. Oh, did they make a copy of a vehicle, but because it wasn't crude, it wasn't technically a creature, so it doesn't do any damage? That would be kind of awkward. I'm not... I don't remember what that rare does exactly. You can tell me in the comments. What does that rare do? Is it that they thought it was going to hit me for an extra six and it did not? Because that is unfortunate. Shoot the Roma. How are you guys liking this set? Is it one that you find enjoyable? Oh man, we are so close. We can just hit that third land. I think we're there. But we're going to risk it for the biscuit. Our opponent took a mulligan. All right. We can just hit the third land. Please. Oh, well, that's not it. This is always nicer to ninjutsu because then you get to like just draw a card, not cycle a card. Awesome. All right, well... I will trade this away. I do not have to trade this away. That has ward, so that's not going to help anything. I can't cheat anything in. But I will create a treasure token, which will help me ramp into Behold the Unspeakable, hopefully a little earlier. Oh, I could ninjutsu this back in and just draw a card. I freaking love this animation. The little ninja stars spinning around the corners. That's awesome. End turn. Dude, I've not seen the ninja. I didn't notice that as the ninjutsu uh, thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Interesting. Now if I attack, they block there, I assume. Tis unfortunate. I don't really want to attack here. It just feels unnecessary. Say no attacks. We'll just play a second one out. And say go. I would like for them to use this to crew this and then play another creature so I can blow that creature up and either make them trade away brute suit or not. This brute suit is getting in my way, which is not helping. I also can't bounce this stupid thing because of the ward two shenanigans. All right, let's just, let's just try and make something happen. Brew it. Love it. Sure. Wipe the board. Play this. <laughs> oh, geez. Why didn't I play this first? That was dumb of me. That was so dumb of me. I didn't even think. Oh, make sure that thing doesn't, you know, hit me where it hurts, so to speak. Ooh, we do not. I guess I'll, I'll take that. Okay, deck. You can cheat in Arm Guard Familiar. You can help us cycle through cards. I forgot this land just cruised the vehicle too. Yeah, that was so dumb of me to unnecessarily lose a card there. My bad, but this is where vehicles feel kind of clunky. Like, sure, do your thing. I'll take four. Because when you just don't have creatures in play, there's no bueno. Next hit. Uh, sure. Sure. Draw something. Discard something. End the turn. 
Now I think we just win this game. I don't know. Unless they can go like white, white. Okay. Rela relax. They go like white land, white land, farewell. Yeah, that's, that is not helpful to what you are needing right now. And there we go. Okay. I just, I thought the vehicles were good. You just really need, because it's just clunky, because you have to pour extra resources. Hey, we're back in gold. You have to pour those extra resources into the vehicles. So unless you're lucky enough to get multiple of like the uncommon pilot cards or the gold white blue card. Yeah. I mean, if you get the gold card out on curve and then you can drop a couple vehicles, you're in business. But that's a that's a big if to consistently do in draft. So I think white blue is is fading for me. We have to go first. Oh, we got that. We can end, okay, we can make this work. Behold the unspeakable, like, you know, quote unquote, ramping into that. Ooh, hoo -hoo. if we can hit a land and I can ninjutsu this in and then play this as well, I will be. Oh, actually, I can ninjutsu this in and then treasure play this. Love it. Don't even have to do that. Ninjutsu for me and you. Boom. Value, dude. We are just cruising. We're up against the aggro deck, and we are showing them how it's done. Look at this hair just hanging off my mic. Tickling my nose. Okay. All right. Hey. Well, I'm not trying to say you can't do anything. All right. Just relax. Just relax. Don't hit too hard, okay? Do we go here? Let's attack. Let's just attack. Maybe they don't block. Maybe we get lucky. Please don't block. Please don't block. And let me just play Behold the Unspeakable. Please don't block. They're thinking about it. They are really chewing on this. Is it worth trading away? And then I'm just attacking with a 3-2. Sure. I don't love it, but we'll do it. We will survive. Just play out another one. Uh, actually, I don't want to play it. I want to do this. And I want to do this. Ooh. And the turn. I could use the treasure there. I don't think we need to. I think I want to save it so that I can play Behold the Unspeakable first. That is priority numero uno right now. Nice. All right, they're doing the thing. They're doing the thing. Nice. Okay. Got the land. So now we attack. We do this. Ooh, do I want to do this though? I think I do. I think I want the treasure so that I can play this out. And then when they attack alone, I'm just going to Ooh, I don't want to... Hmm. We shall see. We shall see what happens. Because this will attack. It'll be a 2... It'll be a 4-3. What, Bubby? I love you too. Why aren't you sleeping with Mommy? You just hanging out? I hear you. I hear you. I love you. Bubba, you've had a busy day. But you are just... You just feeling lonely today. Don't come cuddle. You can come hang out with me, dude. Uh, pass to blockers. Don't... I could block. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to block. And then I'm going to do this. And I'm going to flicker this. 
and I hope they don't shock it or anything like that because if they do it's gonna make me sad but now it comes back boom drain him for one again down to 10 They're like, wait, how does that work? Works like that. And now we'll knock him down to eight next turn. Play the land, play something good. Ooh, tap stuff down. Sure, that's good. Alright, so we do... We do this. Ooh, man, I wish we had... I think we just do this. And then we attack. And maybe they don't block. Because there's no way they can kill this. I don't think they just want to throw a creature away. But if they're smart, they would realize, well, that means they get to play their infiltrator. And the next turn, they just get to draw four cards. And that's a problem. But right now, I'm saying you got to trade a card. You just got to lose a card. And then if they lose a card, that's a blocker down. We're dealing with our rat enchantments. Decisions, decisions. Sure. Yeah, I think it's better there to attack than not attack, especially because anything they attack with won't do damage. Won't do much damage. And if they do attack, it's with that creature that taps something down anyway. So there you have it. Ooh, if we draw an instant though, we could could cast the instant before the saga goes off. That would be pretty nice. Do all the synergies. Yeah, the Aki Ronin. With that, oh, is this the life gain one? No, that's the pump something. Give it flying. Yeah, okay. All right, we can't get can't get too big for our britches. We're definitely not out of the woods yet. Okay, well that is helpful. <laughs> We 100% do not want those. Please stop trying to give us all the land. I really want to knock one of their creatures down. My concern though is if they have shock, all of my stuff has two toughness. Hmm. <laughs> If I do this, I could still use the treasure. And I could just see if it... So I'm going to cast this and see if it... It didn't seem to pause, did it? I didn't think that it did. Alright, let's do this. Auto pay. Nice. Using the arena shenanigans to our benefit. This is giving them a lot of value. This is also kind of difficult... But it's really just tapping stuff down. That's fine. I think we get rid of this thing that's letting them cast multiple things. And then we attack and just try and trade creatures off their board so that our 2-2 two -two menacey creatures can get in and do their work. End turn. And now we're going to try and stop playing cards so we can make our flyer bigger. Bigger and scarier than they can deal with. Does this flip? No, just give something flying so they get in for some damage. Which I would not mind, because that makes blocking a lot more difficult. Ooh, it's a grindy one. They're up to four cards in hand. That always makes you a little nervous. Sh surely they're just all planes, right? That's four planes. Love it. Attack. Do it. Attack for the four. Don't be a scaredy cat. Don't do it. Don't be scaredy cat. 
behold the unspeakable. So right now we're hitting for five, six. Right, five, six, seven. So we technically have lethal on Bard. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me, dude? Get out of here with that. That is a problem. That's a big problem. And we have got to take care of it. Oh my gosh. I should have I should have known. I thought it was the one one counter card. I forgot about this stupid one. Oh, that hurts. I don't know how we beat that thing. Well, we could beat it by hitting them for two in the air. Well, this thing will be flying next turn, so I'm not going to be able to get through. And, and Vision of the Unspeakable will only be a... I can hit for one. Ninjutsu this in. They take two. They're down to six. Play this back out. So we have... Well, this isn't even flying, though, so what does it matter? Oh, wait, no. I, I hit and I pump. That's what I do. Down to five. End the turn. Oh, man. That is brutal. Oh. It's a pretty darn good rare. How can we get through here? How can we get through? We've got some... It's a lazy block. Lazy block. I did not think of the right one mana cantrip. Ooh. A touche, sir. Now, next turn... Yeah, what are we doing next turn? We gotta wait and see what we draw. If it's a land, I will be so sad. It's not a land, though. We can attack. I mean, our, like, I think our best draw would be our third Reckoner's Raid or the thing that gives plus one, plus zero, and lifelink. Let's be four, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're taking ten here. Yikes. Oh boy. Ooh, wait a minute. That's four five. But <laughs> oh, but when we play this, this knocks this down one power. And I cannot play this and somehow get one more damage in there. Oh my goodness. And if I bounce this to their hand, they can play it, give something else flying, and then we definitely lose. Oh, man. Wait, can I ninjutsu both? Three, five. I can. But that will... Oh, no, no. That works. That works. Oh, but then it's not blocked. Ooh. Right? If I just play this straight up. Oh, man. They would have to both not be blocked. If they're both not blocked, then we win. Or then, then they just lose, which is not what would happen. Oh, my goodness. I guess I can do this. I can... Oh, I, could, I can't bounce that and still play it. Bounce this. If I attack here... We've still got two lethal things. One could get tapped down, but that means... Yeah, I think... Oh, we are so close. I just think with them having the 4-4 that they can put a counter on something, it shocks us. I can only block two things oh man that's tough i feel like if they had the win they would just go for it so maybe it's not an obvious win for them i sure hope that's the case 
But I could ninjutsu them both in. Okay, so yep, do the thing. And then we gotta block and block. Actually, it's better to block here, so we actually kill the thing. Right now we're taking five. Hit us with the combat trick. Ninjutsu, eight exactly on the nose. I don't know why that took so long. It's kind of annoying how long it took them to just attack. Oh well, life goes on. Ooh, that was a close one. That was a nail biter. Ooh, opponent goes first, but we've got two, three, into four. Okay. Ooh, fancy lands. Okay, interesting. Nice. Hit our... Got both of each color. Nice mirror matchup. So they can ramp a little bit into another artifact. Let's see what they're doing here. Sure. Ooh, little mech action. Interesting. Three drop into our three drop. And then four. Yeah, this thing having ward has been so good for them. Which is unfortunate. I just need a... If I can blow up this vehicle, I'm not worried about it. Oh, okay, we can blow that up. That's fine. Attack for two. Attack for two. Love it. No blocks. Hit me with your best shot. Now I can block this, no problem, too. And then on our turn, we can play whatever. Ooh, why do they need white mana? Making me nervous. Well, it's vehicles, so that's not shocking. Oh, that's crew three. Okay. Love that. Love that. All right. I think we do this. I think we turn our treasure into a four, four and we just start swinging. I have no reservations about this is what real progress looks like. And if they want to use their turn to attack Tezzeret, I am all for it. Because if not, Tezzeret's making another four, four and then we just win. A copycats. Copy rats. Never mind, they scoop. We got there. Tezzeret with our treasure crate and ninjas is bueno. Bueno. Speak Spanish, do you know that? Alright. Oh my goodness. This is awful. Come on, deck. What are we doing? Opponent goes first, I can cycle this to get a land. We got twos. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the one lander work, alright? Don't don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be fine. I think the twist and embrace is the greediest keep there. I just need to hit land number two. As long as we hit land number two, which boom, there it is. Look at that. Easy, easy peasy. Another vehicles deck? Alright. I think I just cycle this. Let's just cycle it. I need to keep hitting land drops. Satoru. Set. Satoru. Nice. Go there. And then if we can. If we can ninjutsu this thing in, we will be so fortunate to have the one thing that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> plus one plus one lifelink not all that exciting hmm so what would be my attack in I attack in they block we use return to action for absolutely no reason I'm just trying to do like a high risk high reward kind of maneuver 
You know what I'm saying? Alright, so we attack for two. A block. Yep. Alright. <laughs> Where do we just... I think we just sacrifice it. Yeah. Make sure we can hit land drops. Play this out. Sweet. Ooh, I was just, I was just really, really hoping they wouldn't block there. I was trying to like act like, hey, yeah, they block this. See, we know what's going on. Oh man, okay. Be that way. Play another one of these. And then play this. So we've got our way to just ping him a lot, but we need we need something else. Jax, you're back? I thought you went upstairs. Jax, Bubby, what's going on? Come on, Bubby. 2-2 Two -two first strike. I think we're in for a bit of a grindier game here, folks. Go land here. Man, having the four toughness is rough. Play this down. And say go. If I could ninjutsu... If we can just get kind of a loop of ninjutsu and these things back too, that would be so helpful. So very helpful. But unfortunately... Having these three fours is pretty, pretty good for them. Pass attack, they do nothing. What? All right, we have a couple ways to bounce our stuff to be annoying. And with this menace, they can currently block everything. So I think we wait till next turn where we can attack with both of these. Make sure one of them gets in, flicker one, bounce one, do all the things. Or do we just not give them time? That's the that's the other question. Do we just not give them much time to breathe? Because if we attack, attack, they could they could block, double block. Yeah, and I don't I don't really want to attack with Satoru. I want him to be around to see the ninjutsu, so I think next turn we attack with both of our rats. Go from there. I think that'll be the best way for us to get ahead in this game. Wow, a grip. Why do they have such a grip? What is happening? Next to combat. Now, they could also just have a ton of removal, and we get smashed. But we gotta we gotta shoot our shot a little bit. I like where we've gotten though, keeping a one lander thus far. Right, this is the one lander game. We had to put yeah, twisted embrace would have been sweet at this point. Uh, that does four damage to it. I think we. I think we just flicker this. And it's back. And we're waiting to see what happens here. Yep. And we do this. And they spell pierce it and we get sad. Alright, so no, no ninjutsu. Just bouncing. <laughs> sure. I would have just waited. Our board's not doing much, and you getting to play out... That would have been rough for us to deal with. Alright, we got some important draws coming up for us. Are you trying to act like you have... 
spell pierce. Important draws, which means we draw what? Land. Okay. Love it. Can't really do much. Uh, um, I mean, I like keeping some ninjutsu options in hand. We've got land, or we've got life to spare. I think we just gotta wait a second. Oh, this is tough. Like, in games like this where it's so weird to me, it's like we have pretty similar stuff to, like, amount of cards on board, pretty similar land. Although I'm up by one, and they have five more cards in hand. Or three more cards in hand. Not that many. Yeah, come on. Right now, land is not what we need. Hmm. Disappointed. Disappointed. Why? What? Pilots? Why would you not just equip? I guess they think if we have removal, then yeah, we're kind of ruined. And the pilots just make sure we can't ninjutsu anything in ever. This is a bummer. Draw a card, discard. Ooh, discard. Why would you discard a count? Oh, because ninjutsu. I don't know. That seems like a very weird discard. Their hand must be... Bro, get the F out of here. Is that three land in a row? Can't do much with that. Sweet. Love it. Bro. That's insane. Alright. Let's go for it, because we're dead in two turns anyway. So we got two menace things. They probably just double block both of the I guess it doesn't matter. Whatever they block, they should just definitely double block Satoru. I'm just so bummed that we just drew like four or five land in a row. <sighs> so we will ninjutsu this in. Submit. Interesting. Uh, what do we... Okay. Sure, we'll take the removal. And then we will... Well, because we can play an... This will create a treasure. I think I'm more interested in the lifelink right now. Whenever you activate... Oh, this triggers only once a turn. Mm. Yeah. Sadly, we lose our menace abilities. The thing is, like, this will have the ward too, but then we... They just move the reconfigure piece over. So I think... Why do we shut down the first strike blocker? Because that's kind of good for them. Now, actually, I think it's better for us to add to our board. Let's play that back out. Play this back out. Say go. Of 
Bro, these land drops. These land draws. Brutal. Oh, maybe they have nothing but counter spells left in their hand. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. What are we waiting on the eight for? I wonder. Okay. Take eight, sure. Sure. What else you got? Hit me with your best shot. That's a good one. Hey, we know that card. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. We can go here, attack. So we do this. Turn this Everything has into a 4-4. Four, four. My toys will keep you busy. We do this. But if we do this, then we can't ninjutsu anything in, which is the problem. So I think we just have to do this and survive. Right, because this can't attack anyway. Can't attack, can't block. But we need we need the ninjutsu in our hand. Every activated ninjutsu. Okay. We can attack, can't we? We can't block. No, we can't. No attacks. Enter. Okay. Yeah, we got a Tamiyo's completion this stupid thing well i mean they just drew four freaking cards dude i think we're ruined i didn't realize they're gonna draw the four we are in a world of hurt man them them getting both of these that was so brutal i thought we had pretty nice comeback and they had a better answer for our menacey ninjutsu shenanigans blah 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 sure don't even care, dude. Mm. Pass to attackers. Yep. No blocks. Pass the damage. Okay. Okay. Oh, not when I was so close. And then we'll tap this down. Can't crew this currently. Can we get in for an alpha strike maybe? Four, five, six. Probably not. Play this. Wait, doesn't this see us activate a ninjutsu ability? It's on the field when we. Okay, never mind. I thought that would work. Well, oh, doesn't matter then. I think we just lose. Yeah. Alright, as much as I want to play this out, touche. Well done. Oh, that's so upsetting. Man, I like our deck. We just, we ran into a couple convenient matchups. And that, that mulligan definitely hurt. If we wouldn't, didn't have to ditch our removal spell, it would have been A-OK. -okay. The Pregnant God. What? What kind of name is that? We get to go first. Love it. Two into, two and three. All right. We're here for it. 
We got we got the oh not that. we got the city of brass. Hey, quit being such a copy rat, dude. I wonder if the better bet would have actually been Ink Rise Infiltrator to make sure that we could ninjutsu our hard way. Please don't play anything. Okay. That's not bad. That could have been way worse. What the actual heck just happened? I somehow clicked too fast. Disappointed. Okay. <laughs> we'll do it next turn. Fine. Since we just blew it. Because we should have played this out and then had this back in play. Definitely bum that just happened. That was incredibly unfortunate. Alright, so we're going to do this to them. Do the same thing they did to us. We're going to do to them. Deal with it. Maybe. Let's see what they got cooking up their sleeve. And now, unfortunately... Sweet! So we like threw... Oh, they're not blocking though? Oh, thank you so much. Whew. Bailed out at the last second. That could have gone so much worse. Okay. Yep. Attack for one. Do it. Attack for one. Yes. Love it. So we will do this. And we will bounce that. We will attack for four. Gain two life. And now we're just pinging them down. Pinging them down. Now we just gotta wait and see what they do. Like, at some point they gotta block with this. Unless they're waiting for... Wow, that's the one you destroy? Okay, sure. Do you, bro. Is this Menace? Okay. Ping for one again? Yes! All attack. Can ninjutsu this. I could actually ninjutsu this back in to bounce their thing. Let's do that. Put that back in your hand. Get out of here. It's a weird way to do that. But it's what we gotta do. <laughs> Ninjutsu is kind of ridiculous, but I'm here for it. You, you hit me for one? Can't do that. Okay. So now we don't have a way to really help with that. That's unfortunate. We're going to play this. Look, anything you can do, we can do better. And then I think we just... I think we play this down. And we survive. We keep the moon circuit hacker in our hand so that we can keep the ability to ninjutsu something at some point. As long as they want to keep hanging in for one, I think that was their mistake. They should have kept it back as a blocker to quit losing one life. Unless they have some way to bounce it or something, I'm not sure. Sure, 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 sure. sure. Okay. No blocks. Land is not what we need, deck, but I appreciate you thinking of us. So that turns this into a 4-3, which is also not super helpful. <laughs> Next turn, though, we can... As long as I don't play two creatures this turn... 
Actually, playing one creature is still a problem. Ooh, and that's annoying because I can crew that with their thing we made into a 1 1. Hmm. I mean, I like our chances in this setup, though. They need a way to essentially kill their own creature. They're on a five ish turn clock. Ooh, yeah. Swing all out, dude. Full send. Just kidding. Yes. Do that. No blocks. Take four. Hey, that's a good card. So what I should do is attack, attack. Actually, what I should do is just play this. And then attack with both. Ninjutsu this in for whatever doesn't get blown up. And then draw multiple cards. We're trying, like, is there a combat trick that somehow just completely ruins everything? I sure hope not. Ninjutsu this. Get to draw. I will hopefully get to draw two cards. Hey, we'll take Tezzeret. And give us another rat thing when this thing deals damage or it gets blown up. Gain two. Make sure we don't lose to an alpha strike somehow. Somehow, some way. Yes, I will take that action. Hey, we drew a land. I guess next turn we can just play Tezzeret, turn this into a 4-4 four, four as well. And that's pretty good. Do it to it. My, I'm, what? I can't remember what gives life. Like, there's the black combat trick. I don't think white really has any combat tricks. And I don't know if we... Oh, this has menace? Oh, it's got all that stuff. Okay. Well, we just block there. I just don't want to... I'm not sure what could happen. But I feel like this is our best bet. Yep. Yep. We knew they had something cheeky. Alright, that's not bad. I guess we're kind of in... Oh, they just scoop. Okay. Okay. thought they were going to... I don't know what they had in their hand. Or what they would have drawn next turn. But we don't kill them that turn. But apparently they weren't interested. They didn't want to know what happened. We're at, oh my gosh, we're at four wins. What a good day. Four wins is our pressure's off. We've essentially made our gems back. And with the cards we got, we've gotten more than enough value out of this draft. Life's good. Orangineer. What do you mean? We get to go first. Oh, but this is not, this is not a good hand. All right, well, pressure was off, but apparently the shuffler is just not having it great great uh um we will not remove anything we will just pray for mana actually do we keep the land over the bargain don't know I don't think the Tamiyo's completion works here. I think like this is our this is our thing. Actually, no, I lied. We do that. We do this. Yep. Don't play the wrong land. That would have been a mistake. <laughs> if I'm them though, I'm like, oh, cool, I win. You just had to mulligan twice. And. 
dope. Like, thanks for the free dub, dude. Especially if they have even remotely close to a good curve out. Or they gain life. Yeah, they got a pretty ideal start. This is a no bueno. But they didn't play a creature yet, so we get to at least be annoying a little bit. Just play one creature though. Just one. Just one. One measly little creature. This says when it becomes blocked, they get to untap lands. Okay. Play one creature. Nice. Perfect. Wait, cancel. Please use the right mana, you stupid auto-tapper. Put that dumb thing back in your hand. Take more damage. Go away. Don't talk to me. Now, you can certainly outscale me starting now. <laughs> but they do need to start adding some stuff to their board. We can Tamiya's completion this. I think. I think that works. That is death touch. Kind of annoying, but oh my god, deck. <sighs> it's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. That you're making us work with three spells and five land. Come on. Come on. I feel like all the games we've lost have been off bad draws. No, the first loss was in a good game. Good tight game. These two losses though, that's why best of one is so frustrating. I think this deck had some serious 3-0 potential in traditional. Because I just, I don't think there's any way we lose two out of three games if we have decent starts. This is the one that if it deals damage, you can move the counter, exile target artifact or enchantment. And if we double block, they use a combat. Like, there's nothing I can do here. I'm just in an awful spot. What we hope for is that we can draw a ninjutsu creature or something like that. Oh, a ninja. Okay, fine, dude. Lifelink, love it. Do your thing. Bro, I had to mulligan down to five. And now I've drawn three land in a row. No, no. Not three. Two of three. Ooh. That's a good card. Let's put that on there. Don't mind if we do. Let's attack for four against you. If I'm them, I probably... Nah, dude. If I'm them, I block 100%. Now, if they have another shrine in hand, then it's whatever, because you're just going to start nuking me, and it doesn't even matter a little bit. That's also a problem. 5-4 with lifelink. That's a problem. Got some good draws that would help us, for sure. Definitely not going to block. Hmm. Okay, take six. And then I can flicker my two two. Flicker my two two, which flicker which will flicker their five four. Or bounce their five, that card to their hand. Now it's just a 2-2. Two, two. I say no blocks. <laughs> you hit me for two. Ninjutsu it out. Do your thing. Why ninjutsu so awesome, man? You just keep doing it. Bro, I need removal. Please. Oh my god. <laughs> Search library for baseline or brother bath. Seems good, Dutch. Oh my god. 
We were trying. We were so we were doing so well clawing back. And my deck is doing zero to help me out right now. Deck. Why you do this? Why? Why you do this? They attack with Kodama. I gotta like double block now. I can't just start letting them hit for five. Thin their deck out. Do the things. But I can't lose two. I mean, I can't lose two creatures either. At least they didn't do the life gain option. Oh, I suppose I should have just blocked that with that. That was stupid. I should have blocked the 3-3 three, three there. Touche. It's like, bro. Bro. Why are you messing around with this? What? Oh, okay. Sure. Sure. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, we can do this. And then we do this, draw a card. Come on. Take that action. Let me draw borderline useless stuff. And they gained a lot of life this turn. If they hadn't gained, what, like, 8 or eight or 11 life? I can't remember how many times. I, th I think they've gained 11 life this turn. It just shows how good this deck was, and the fact that we almost made this thing work against this is remarkable to me. Like, I don't think there's... I'd be surprised if we lose to this deck. Two out of three, but that doesn't matter. We're in best of one. We wanted to see some more stuff. Saw some more stuff. What this really showed me, though, is that blue-black is really good. Really good. I still think green is the best solo color. It also has me excited to try shrines at some point. Because, like, the shrine creatures are all pretty decent. You know? Pretty decent. Hey, look, thanks for the other land. Really helpful deck. Much appreciated. All right, good game, man. Hey, you played well. Fair play. I'm, just, I'm kind of bummed. I just feel like this deck had way more potential than that, even though we didn't have any of the, like, the rares or mythic rares beyond uh, Satoru. I, I enjoyed playing this deck. I enjoyed playing this deck so much when it did work that I'm kind of nervous I'm going to lean towards blue-black more than I... And I ought to. What was clunky about it? Uh, our starting hands. <laughs> Reckoner's Bargain. I didn't often have... I mean, I feel like this is a good play in the deck because we have two of the Prosperous Thieves. And being able to sacrifice a treasure to draw two cards. I think that's pretty good value. This card I still love. It's just good card advantage and potential threat in the air I don't know I felt like it was a solid we had plenty of two drops I guess in the ninjutsu deck you just need to make sure you have a ton of ninjutsu options and these black common menace things are so awesome they fit so well in the ninjutsu deck I thought they'd be clunkier than they were but I think they played out really well so that's that's it but we got there we got to four wins so we get a majority of the gems back we'll take it We'll do another draft here soon, but I hope y'all are doing well out there. I appreciate y'all watching. You want to buy cards, buy a box draft with your friends, check out Card Kingdom. That's going to do it for me though, folks. We'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.